In this video, I'm going to show you how I charge my LiPo batteries using this charger. This is an IMAX B6 AC version 2. It is AC because you have the AC input capabilities here, but you also have a DC in option with 11 to 18 volts acceptable voltage range. So this, uh, this charger is capable of charging different types of batteries. These are in included and indicated on the panel. You can also charge or discharge depending on the mode of, your, of the application that you want to do. These are some of the LiPo, char LiPo batteries that I'm using for my drones. The good thing about this charger is that it has the ability to balance charge your LiPo batteries. Like this one, this battery is 22.2 uh, volts, which is basically a 6S configuration LiPos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6S or 6 series batteries. These batteries are not simultaneously drained. Some are drained faster during operation, so you need to balance charge these types of cells. Same with this. These are 3S cells. Let's now connect the power, the AC. And you see, the one that shows first is LiPo balance charge. You can actually select different kinds of mode. You have charge mode, if it's just a single cell, a fast charge, a storage, or just the discharge as well. But for us, we will use the balance charging because we want to balance charge this three cell, this 11.11 .11 volts LiPo batteries. On the connector, uh, you have here an XT60, so we need that kind of connector that can fit on this port. This is the connector that comes with this charger, so we can just plug it in here for the positive and negative. And unfortunately, the connector of this end is not XT60, but rather something like a JST. But this charger has this kind of adapter, so we can just use this. Then we can now connect this here. And then we should now connect the connection of each cell. So this is four wires. And we will connect this here on the four on the 3S configuration. Since this is a 2.6 ampere hour battery, we could just select one C charging, which is an um, if it's 2,600, you will just need a charging of 2.6 ampere. So let's let's adjust the charging current here to 2.6. For the configuration, 3S should be enough. So, but you can still change it. But 3S is the one that we're going to use. Then you just have to hold this enter. Then it will check if it's really a 3S and if there's no error, it was able to validate that it's actually 3S. So you could just confirm. Let's press confirm. Now it starts charging. Currently, it's 12.45 volts and this is the charging current. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!